Hi everyone, it's Kate, and today I'm here to show you the full line of Nouveau Shimmer Powders from Tonic Studios USA. Let's get started. If you've never tried the Nouveau Shimmer Powders, they are a highly pigmented powder that is water reactive. I've gathered a whole bunch of different mediums for us to try it out on. We're going to be making swatches as well. You're going to need a splat box or something to protect your surface with just so that uh, cleanup is easier. I also have a spray bottle full of water. First, let's go ahead and try making some swatches. Um, I've gathered a whole bunch of little tags. These tags have a shiny surface. They're cardstock tags and they have more of a matte surface. Let's give them a try and see how they react. I have the full line and I'll show you each individual color as we make the swatches. I purchased these online at um, tonicstudiosusa.com, I think it is. All right. So I didn't wear any gloves or anything. I don't really think it's that messy, but let's give it a shot here. So I'm gonna try them on the matte surface. I think that's probably gonna work better. Basically, you're just going to sprinkle some powder on. They're pretty highly pigmented. I haven't tried them before, but I saw a video online and they're pretty highly pigmented. And then just mist with water and they kind of react there. I'm really not sure how much water to add, but... So the colors seem to be more of like a mixture. Um, like, for instance, this one isn't just solid green. It has green... Um, with specks of blue and red. It's called Falling Leaves, this one. There we go. That's pretty cool looking. You can kind of swirl it around there a little bit. Tap off the extra. And then we'll set that over to dry. That one's called Falling Leaves. Next one. This one is called Cherry Bomb. It's a bright pink, it looks like. Putting quite a bit on the little tags. I just figured um, for a swatch, we would probably see... Uh, See the colors a little brighter than maybe I would use them. Whoa, <laughs> then maybe I'd use them normally. So that's Cherry Bomb. Can you see the metallic there? It's just a really nice light metallic shimmer. It's nothing overpowering. And this flat box I'm using is just a pizza box that um, was brand new whenever I used it, so it's clean. You can see I've sprayed a bunch of other stuff in there. This color here is called Catherine Wheel. It looks like more of a red color. I'm gonna try spritzing with water first. I don't know if that's gonna help or hurt it. Ooh. There it goes. That's kind of pretty. I like that one. All right, next color is, this one is Meteorite Shower. Ooh, that one looks really pretty. It's black, dark gray. It's got some magenta in it. Ooh. <laughs> Very pretty. Wow. All right. I love the swirls. Look at the swirls down there in the bottom corner. Next one. This one is a light lavender color. It looks like violet brocade. It's really not too messy of a project so far, which is good. Whoa. <laughs> that one's pretty. So we're going to make a bunch of these um, for swatches. 
This one is called Atlantis Burst. We're going to make a bunch of swatches and then we're going to try. I have like embossed powder. Um, I'm sorry, embossed paper and then music paper, envelopes, a whole bunch of different things to put them on and see how they look. Wow. This one is perfect for mermaid stuff. Do you see the metallic shimmer in that? Pretty. I'm just setting them all over to dry on my other table. Oops. You can see I got a little bit of color in that one. Let's try. Got, a color, got color in all of them now. Um, the next color here is Blue Blitz. Do you guys swatch out your products, your new products when you get them? I haven't been doing it. I started out doing it and then I stopped. <laughs> I think maybe swatching will help me use them more because you'll know exactly which color you're going to get when you pick up a bottle. All right, this one is a bright, um, a bright blue. Next, we have Storm Cloud. Looks like kind of a darker color. A dark gray. Wow. That is a dark gray to black. Very interesting. Just dabbing off the little tiny bit of extra water there. Next we have Solar Flare, a yellow. All right. And I'm okay if color gets on the other side of the tags. Wow. Nice. And we've got two more colors to go. And I believe this is all of the colors. Um, this one is called Golden Sparkler. That one looks like it might be my favorite. <laughs> It has definitely the colors that I usually like the best. I'll move you up a little bit. It looks more like fall colors. Wow. Alrighty. Let me tap that one off. Very nice. I do like that one. Last color I have is the Green Parade. And I'm just tapping the end of the bottle to shake out some. Nice. That one's very pretty too. So that is all of the colors. I set them aside to dry. Um, we'll take another look at all the colors after they're actually dry, fully dry. That way um, you guys get a chance to see them both wet and dry. Just getting a wet wipe clean off my fingers. And I think I'll also put it in the bottom of the box so that it can help us pick up all of this extra color. Well, maybe we won't. We'll just leave it down there and that way it'll get on the back sides. <laughs> so I got a selection of, um, I got out a selection of embossed cardstock, different patterns. I thought maybe because it was embossed, the color powders might uh, look nice on there. So this one is a cream colored. Let's try that last one again, Green Parade. So you can squeeze it, you can tap it. Let's take a look at how that looks. I'm gonna try to drip. 
really wetting this one down a little more. The metallic isn't too metallic. Like, you know, I was kind of worried about that in the beginning. I thought maybe, you know, you know, I use a lot of vintage stuff in my projects. I thought maybe I wouldn't like the metallic, but it actually looks pretty darn cool. Just dabbing off the extra. I'll set that one aside to dry. Let's try <laughs> getting, getting it all over everything. Let's try this one. And I'm going to put that baby wipe down there. Baby wipe down <laughs> in the bottom of the box. Help us kind of control that water. Um, how would we like these flowers? Maybe something in the purple. This one is the Violet Brocade. How are you guys all doing today? Hope you guys are well. Mm, very pretty. And, uh, let's try dribbling some water in some sp certain spots. Boy, that really got a bright color burst out of that. Nice. My chair squeaks every time I turn around. Uh, I guess that's the downfalls of buying a, a vinyl chair. This is just um, some card fronts that I had cut. So let's just make a regular background. Um, use the green parade. So this is like a card front and then I'd make a card out of it. The bottles, even though they're small, there is quite a bit of powder in there. And each time you use it, you're not really using much of it. I think they'll probably last quite a long time. That's nice. Very pretty. That's a good background. And of course the paper always curls um, while it's wet, but it does flatten back out as it dries. Then I have a index card. Let's see, we'll probably do that color on the back. Let's try this meteorite shower. I love playing with new supplies. Wow. Very pretty. Just dab off the extra water there. Do you see the metallic in that? Nice. And then, how about a guest check? My fingers are getting quite a bit of color on them, but that's okay. Um, let's put this solar flare. That's nice. Let's try to layer some colors. So we've got the solar flare on there. Let's try the falling leaves with the solar flare. Really wet that one down. And then let's try to move that color around a little bit. Pretty. get off the extra water there. It <laughs> kind of ran all to the side. All right. And then we have a paper sack. And I'm using right now um, all plain. It's not coffee or tea dyed or anything like that. 
This one is Golden Sparkler. Let's try that one. Quite a bit of powder down there. Let's try moving that powder around a little bit. Golden Sparkler is definitely one of my favorite colors out of this line. Very pretty. It's puddling up quite a bit. Here we go. And you really do need to consider having something to lay these all out on um, when they're drying. It's taking up quite a bit of room over there. Um, let's try this blue blitz. This way it will just have a whole bunch of different, um, it's kind of clogged. A whole bunch of different <laughs> backgrounds to play with another day. We can decorate all of this. I have a bucket that I keep all of my backgrounds that need to be decorated in. Cute. That way the decorating for me is probably my favorite part. And there's just certain days where it's like, I don't really know what I want to make, but I want to play. So then I just use that, pull out that bin of all of my backgrounds that are made and, you know, bases and then just decorate them. All right. Um, it's hard for me not to keep using <laughs> this golden sparkler. I think that is definitely my favorite. Let's use Atlantis Burst. You know, like the lost city of Atlantis, Atlantis burst. <laughs> so definitely an underwater color there. Ooh, pretty. This envelope is a little embossed envelope. Um, so you can see it has a tiny bit, tiny embossing. I'm just going to add a little more water. A little embossing to it. It's a really fine little powder. And it's getting down into the embossing on that envelope. Cool. All right. And then next I have a regular little card envelope. Let's give that a try. Using the falling leaves again. Whoa. <laughs> A lot of powder there. And I notice the more water I put down, the more of the little specks you lose. So you just got to play around with it and see what you like, what you prefer. All right, and then we have some little um, coin envelopes, and I am getting, you know, fingerprint marks everywhere. You pull out another um, wet wipe. Try to keep my fingers a little cleaner so that I don't mark up the backs. Yeah, your fingers are definitely going to get some color on them. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. On this one, let's try this storm cloud. This is the really dark one. Wow, pretty. For like a galaxy journal, I love that. And then we have bigger envelopes. These are like five by seven card size envelopes. Um, I'm gonna do that golden sparkler. I have a nature journal, an upcoming nature journal project that I need to use this for. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, the Golden Sparkler, definitely one of my favorites. Okay, 
And then look at this baby wipe down on the bottom. <laughs> I know um, a lot of people save these and actually use them in projects. I might try that with that one. I have a business envelope. There's, I think it's a number 10 envelope. We haven't used this Catherine wheel. Let's try using that. The red color. Wow. <laughs> Pretty. The way that the powder reacts with the water kind of reminds me of the Van Gogh um, Starry Night painting. Pretty. And then I have some folded over book page um, journal cards where I, I've used it out of my glue book and the inside sticky and fold it over and make a journal card. Let's try how these work on that. Um, let's use the meteorite shower. Pretty. I guess these powders are kind of like brushos. Do you, have, do you have to try the brusho powders? These ones are way cheaper than brushos, though, and I like them. I have some cut up watercolor um, paper. This is fairly inexpensive watercolor paper. I looked for a long time to find a big pack of cheap watercolor paper, and I looked on Amazon, I looked everywhere. I really was disappointed that I couldn't find a cheap one until I went to Walmart and I don't usually buy craft supplies from Walmart because sometimes they're not the best quality, but this came from Walmart. It is a jumbo artist pad by Be Inspired and it is watercolor paper. There is 59 by 12 sheets in here. They are beautiful watercolor paper. I wouldn't maybe necessarily use this for a painting that you're trying to do, but for crafting and tags and things like that, I think this is great. So you get 59 by 12 sheets of watercolor paper. They're pretty thick and, and good quality, I think. And it's $9.99, guys, for 50 sheets. I thought that was a terrific price. So this is the kind of watercolor paper I'm using today. And I've just got some various uh, cut up pieces here. Let's try a couple of those. And I'm going to try the Green Paradise. Interesting to see um, how the process works with watercolor paper instead of regular paper. Nice. I like the, the shimmer powders that actually have multiple different colors in them. I'm finding that's more my style. I'm just going to fill in that little white space there by tipping it. Pretty. I'll cut these probably into tag shapes. Let's see, we have more watercolor paper here. Let's use that big one there. Um, I'm going to go with the Violet Brocade again. All right. Wow. Very pretty. That one would make a good belly band in a journal. Very pretty. I'm going to run it out of places to put things. All right. Um, this is just some thin book page. And I wanted to see how that holds up to the process. I'm going to put Atlantis Burst on it. Oh. <laughs> cool. And then just to show you up close, because it's very visible in this one, the metallic is actually concentrated right there but the watercolor parts of it spread out. Interesting. 
Ooh, that one was a messy one. All right, and then next I have a little bit thicker book page. This one's a little thicker and more cotton-like. Um, let's put the meteorite shower on it. Pretty. Do that one up close. We'll go back through them when they're dry too. All right, and then I wondered how it would look on craft colored cardstock or paper. Those are just some little coin envelopes. On the craft, um, let's try the solar flare. Maybe it'll tone it down a little bit. It's very yellow. Yellow is a color I think is kind of hard for me to use. Doesn't really <laughs> go with a lot of the styles of journals I make. So on the craft, it definitely tones it down. You can see the yellow metallic. The metallic powder does kind of clump together. Um, it's, it's all throughout, but there's big clumps of, of the metallic in there. Pretty. Um, then I have some very vintage um, music paper. Let's see how that looks. I'm just going to tear it. And let's put the golden sparkler on it. I like how also on these powders, they've got a little kind of um, test window there for you to see what it looks like when it's wet. It is very different wet than it is in the bottle. Pretty. It's kind of like fireworks. How it bursts like that. Very pretty. Let's try using the heat gun. The Ranger heat gun. And let's try drying it before I move it. I like the Ranger heat gun because it's not very loud. Hopefully you guys don't mind it. If the sound bothers you, then we can just turn down the volume. The heat gun actually moves the shimmer powder all around. And because this is on corrugated pizza box, it's pretty much protected the heat from the surface of my table. So I am noticing that when you dry it with the heat gun, it looks drastically different than when it dries on its own. Just kind of tip those big drops of water off, speed it up a little bit. That's just about it. I'm just going to dab those. There we go. All right. And so that's kind of how it looks when it's dried. The shimmer is definitely more noticeable when it's dried. I really like it over vintage colored paper. It's very nice. And then we have, let's try the music again. And let's put a different color on it. Um, let's try the green. This is Falling Leaves. I wonder how these powders would actually react um, when you're coffee dyeing paper, like adding these powders to the liquid coffee dye. I'm wondering how that would look. But maybe just add a nice shimmer to the coffee dyed paper. I'm going to dry this one too.
Yeah, I'm going to have to try that, adding it to the coffee dye, the coffee liquid mixture, and then dunking the paper in and seeing how that comes out. I'll let you know on a future video, I guess I can show you how it's going to come out. So these big water puddles, if you dab them with a baby wipe or paper towel or something like that, it kind of picks up the color. So if you get an area that's just, you know, too dark for your liking, that is a way where you can just pick up the color. I also think when, um, you know, Tim Holtz, he shows his inks and he kind of splotches them out and drags his tags through them. I think that this would look really cool, the shimmer powder over top of his inked up tags or whatever you're doing. I think that would look really cool. So there's just a couple little liquid spots there I'm going to dab up. Nice. And this will flatten back out as it dries the rest of the way, you know. Cool. I like it. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Let's do another book page. This book page is kind of uh, more on the medium thickness and cottony. Um, I'm going to do the cherry bomb on it. I haven't done a lot of the cherry bomb. It's a very bright pink. Very bright. Let's try making some actual puddles. And then let's try tilting this one. We can kind of run it into some areas that didn't really get a lot. There we go. <laughs> uh, not exactly an appealing look with these big runs everywhere. <laughs> Kind of looks like a Halloween scene, a massacre. <laughs> Here we go. I am noticing quite a bit of difference on the ones that I've dried with the heated gun and the ones that dry on their own. The heated gun kind of takes out some of the color in my opinion. Alright. And that's what that one looks like. Do you see there's kind of like a pearlescent metallic shimmer all over the whole entire project? Yeah, I like it. Very cute. All right, guys. Um, let's see. What else can we try? There is Some vintage doilies, or not vintage doilies, some paper doilies over here. Let's try some of those. We've got this big collection of different sized and shaped um, paper doilies. These ones are really thin um, craft color. Let's try Violet Brocade on it. I'm going to do a little. I like it. Let me dry that one. So the weather here, like I said, I live in the desert. So the weather here has finally started to turn to fall. We get abbreviated seasons if we get a season at all here, other than summer. So I am super excited because the weather has finally cooled off. And I love fall. I think fall is definitely my favorite season. Alright. I really like it on the doily. I think that's really pretty. Cool. 
Let's try it on a bigger doily. And this one, I'm going to do the falling leaves. So I think I figured out that I have favorite colors and then colors that mm, maybe not so my favorite. <laughs> Pretty. Add some bigger drips there in the center. Let's dry that one. Really, they dry pretty quickly, especially the doilies. They're so thin. I do want to try it over top of some coffee dyed paper. I have some down here. We'll give that a try next. Up. All right. Can you see the metallic on that? Pretty. Um, I gotta try one of these doilies before we do the coffee dyed paper. These doilies. Those are my favorite doilies. <laughs> let's put green, green parade. No, let's do the meteorite. The meteorite shower. <laughs> you can hear my cat in the background. She's not super happy that she's not allowed in this room right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it's a lot of color. Let's dry that one off. I love these giant doilies. All right. Wow. Very pretty. I love the shimmer. It, it's the perfect amount. It's more like a pearl than an actual metallic. I like it. All right. Let's try that copy dyed paper now. Um, I'm gonna try just a regular sheet of copy dyed paper. Um, I'm going to do the green parade over it. No, actually, I take that back. I'm going to do the golden sparkler. Ooh. I think it's better when I tap on the end of the bottle instead of shake it. Okay, for this one, I'm going to have to tilt it up. All right. I think if you want it to move, you really have to wet it down to kind of get the, the shake marks out from where you shook it on, you know? And let's tilt it and make these run. Move them around a little bit. All right. And then once these are dry, the powder does not rub off or anything like that. Once they're dry, they're set. You can um, ink over them. You can stamp over them. You can emboss over them. Those are some of the things I plan on doing with these. I just got a new set of Tim Holtz um, fall leaves or leaf stamps that I want to try to emboss over top of some of these backgrounds for that nature journal that I've got coming up. And then I want to make some cards out of some of the backgrounds too. I'm going to try to pick up some of those big wet drops. Anytime that you let the air go through your piece that you're trying to dry, it does dry faster than just having it sitting on top of something else because the air can get through the paper.
This one's not all the way dry, but you get the idea. Hopefully you can see the shimmer. Nice. Very nice. All right, what else should we try? Let's try one of those. And let's put the, hmm, the meteorite shower on it. Wow. <laughs> One spray. Let's dry that off. It's a little warm. <laughs> yeah, that one we might have to pick up with something else. <laughs> Let's see. Cute. Let's do some more watercolor paper. I really didn't notice a huge difference in the way that the color spreads over watercolor paper versus anything else. For less shake marks on it, you can tap the end of the bottle. I think I do like doing that better. Hmm. Interesting. Just tipping it to get off some of that water. Pretty. The shimmer is different. Um, the pearl is different over top of the watercolor paper because the watercolor paper has texture in it and the shimmer kind of goes into the little um, crevices of the watercolor paper texture. Different. All right, let's take a look. Look at this baby wipe down here. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I'm gonna have to make something out of that. <laughs> I like the back better than I like the front. Very pretty. I'm going to leave that in there to dry. Let's move my splat box down. And let's take a look at some of the ones that we did. This is the book page journal card. This is the business envelope. And because I didn't have enough room when I laid these out to dry, they have kind of bled onto each other, but I don't mind it. Pretty. So that one, that one. This is the pink book page. This is the green vintage music. I really like the pearl on it. Very pretty. This is the craft colored little coin envelope. This one, I'm gonna have to use the heated on this one. This one is the golden sparkler. The golden sparkler on this envelope. Very pretty. This is the uh, meteorite shower. No, this is storm cloud. I'm sorry. This is storm cloud on a coin envelope. 
We'll save the swatches to last. This one also needs a little bit of help to dry. This one is the Golden Sparkler. This one is the um, Atlantis Burst. So that's the bottle and that's how it came out. Pretty. This one is the Falling Leaves on watercolor. We have some that are still pretty wet here. Let's try to dab that off. This is Book Page and the Atlanta Sparkler again. This is the Library Pocket with Blue Blitz. Pretty. I think this color is my second or tied with Golden Sparkler for my first favorite. This one is called Violet Brocade and it is definitely one of my favorites. I love the watermark too here. This is watercolor cardstock and I would really like to do some more where I get those watermarks. They're pretty. This is the guest check and you can see that some of the um, golden sparkler has bled onto it from where it was drying just because I stacked them. If you don't want that then you have to lay them out where they're not overlapping each other. This one is falling leaves. Wow this one is so dark. <laughs> this one is the storm cloud. No, it isn't. I'm sorry. I lied. This one is meteorite shower. So this is storm cloud and this is meteorite shower. This is more of a black gray and this one has more navy blue in it. So storm cloud and meteorite shower. Very pretty. Next we have, oh my goodness, look at the metallic on that one. The pearl. They call them metallic. I'm going to call them pearl. <laughs> This one is Falling Leaves. Pretty. This one is the Meteorite Shower. This one is Watercolor Cardstock and it is the Falling Leaves. This was an embossed piece of cream colored cardstock. It's not all the way dry. Let's dry that. I'm going to burn my fingers. <laughs> the pearl is definitely more evident when you dry it with the heat gun or when it's fully dry, I imagine. Wow. Very pretty. For me, it is the perfect amount of metallic, right? It's not too much. It's not too little. It's a very nice pearl. I like that. Cool. Then we've got a couple more to go and then I'll show you the swatches. That's the falling leaves. This one is Green Paradise. So falling leaves here and Green Paradise here. The Green Paradise is a little darker. Let's see, we'll put that one over there. And then this one is also embossed. I'm gonna dry, it's just holding the water a little more because of the embossed thick cardstock. So let's dry that one. This one was the Violet Brocade. I'll dry it a little bit on the back. The back is interesting. It's almost prettier than the front sometimes. <laughs> the way that it goes around into the debossing.
These would be really pretty card fronts. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Violet Brocade. And that is it for those. Now let's go over the, the actual color swatches that we did. And I'll match them up with the bottles for you guys. So this is Blue Blitz. And I think it definitely looks like the swatch they show you on the side of the bottle. It's just a little lighter blue blitz and i like how you can see how it covered over the little brown ring the whole reinforcer of the tag and it actually colored it really well okay so blue blitz this one here is the solar flare and that's the bottle and that's the actual Solar Flare. This one here is the first one I did and I didn't put a lot on. This one is the Falling Leaves. Falling Leaves. It's a medium green, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of teal in there. Next we have the Cherry Bomb. <laughs> definitely a bomb it's pretty hard to miss it's um the magenta bright pink hot pink whatever you want to call it and a little tiny bit of purple in there and the swatch on the bottle you can barely see the the darker purple bits so cherry bomb this one here is the catherine wheel pretty you can really see that there's a gold mica in the red Catherine wheel. And for the swatch on the bottle, again, it, it's too dark on the bottle. It's kind of hard to see, but Catherine wheel. And then this one here is the golden sparkler. Golden sparkler is pretty on the bottle and prettier in person. And then we have Green Paradise. Green Paradise is pretty on the bottle and prettier in person. Green Paradise. Next, we have the darkest one, which is Storm Cloud. And honestly, I probably just put too much on this tag. I mean, it does look like the swatch on the bottle, but Storm Cloud could have used a little less on that swatch. And then we have the, um, what one is this? I don't know which one this is. Am I missing a bottle? <laughs> Hang on a second. We'll do that one last. This one right here is the med No, this one is the Violet Brocade. Violet Brocade. One of my favorites. Let's try to do these in a circle. And then we have the, it's really interesting. We have the green um, parade, green parade. Pretty. I wonder if this isn't um, Atlantis Burst. I'm gonna have to do another one. This one I think is Atlantis Burst. I'm sorry guys, Atlantis Burst. This one is Meteorite Shower. Meteorite Shower. It's the navy blue purple. All right, so that is all I have for you today, guys. Um, I'll have to label my swatches <laughs> and double check and make sure I've got them correct. Sorry for confusing you. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to come back through once these are fully dry and I'm going to decorate them and turn them into projects. I can show you what I made um, at the beginning of the next video if you're interested. 
Other than that, um, I know that there are some discount codes for Tonic Studios USA Online. When I purchased these, they were on sale. I believe I got 20% off after, um, after they were on sale. So they were right around $3 a piece for the bottle. The bottle size is pretty small, but um, there's a lot in here, actually. You do use a tiny little bit at a time, and I think it will last quite a long time. So for three bucks a bottle, definitely uh, happy I purchased them. Maybe now that I have swatches and see them all, I probably wouldn't have purchased some of the colors because they're just a little harder for me to use. Um, because I'm into junk journaling now, I like things that are a little bit more vintage colorways. So maybe, you know, the bright yellow, the bright red, the bright pink, and maybe one of the greens. I don't know. I'd, I probably don't use the brighter colors as much as I use the muted colors. So for me, I'm happy that I have them all, tried them out, and now I know which ones I need to reorder whenever I use them all. <laughs> All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you guys all have a good day and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.